Hello Collective, welcome back to my channel. This is your intuitive starseed to Mary, your light worker. This is a general reading. Hope you guys are doing well, blessed and highly favored. Hopefully overall the message resonates with you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Or you just get in it for the vibe, your choice. Alright. Jimmy can be fluid. So he can be a she. She can be a he, all right? Same scenario, just with the rose. This could be past, present, or future energy. That of my beautiful, handsome collective, your past persons. People around you, people around your past persons. Places, times, and also events. This could be clarity and validation for others of you also, all right? Only take what resonates, leave the rest. The whole reading may not resonate with you, all right? So only take what does, leave the rest with someone else who does, all right? So let's get an energy check and get the message for you guys and get up back this thing. Thank you guys for your support of my channel. Thank you guys for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, definitely your donations um, and your emails. Thank you so, so very much. Sending you guys love and light on your journey. Stay prayed up. Keep your energy clean. Be mindful of the company you keep. All right. Keep your vibration high. Some of you could be cutting off a lot of people, or you have, since you've been on your spiritual journey. Could be friends, could be, you know, people from your past that um, you've walked away from with no reason to rekindle things with them. Somebody's left to just, uh, their soul tribe, I feel like a lot of you are cutting ties, cutting cords with a lot of people, especially uh, soul ties, which don't also, don't always have to be in love, it could be friends, it could be co-workers, it could be neighbors, it could be, you know, family members, um, people that once was real good, you know, childhood friends and things like that, you could be cutting ties with people like that, um, because the history, you know, over time and the things that you share, those bonds, they you know, or what formulate, you know, those soul ties that, you know, you go through things and 
ups and downs with each other, things like that, that builds bonds like that, emotional bonds too. So, first card out, You Are My Lady by Freddie Jackson. I don't own the copyrights to this, but this can be um, significant to someone who well, this reading resonates with. Somebody feel like you they lady. Somebody who wanna come back around, make things right with you, you know, make, you know somebody wanna work things out with you. Colorado can be significant. Colorado can be significant. Um, whether you're from Colorado, could have always wanted to go here um, to some part of Colorado, but Colorado can be significant. Next card, jailed over this jealous karmic. She hates you. Next card, kick the bad habits and addictions from spell work. Came out in reverse. Somebody, um, whoever this karmic is that hates you, whoever this karmic is, uh, whether you know who this person is or not, this person got somebody, you know, locked up in the past, or I feel like, you know, recently somebody cut up with the jail, you know, um, over a domestic situation or altercation or something, or, um, like a false report of someone, you know, um, saying something, you know, to get somebody, you know, locked up, even if it's, you know, for a short time, it's something that ends up being on your record for whatever reason. But I feel like this person, um, knows somebody is got a direction or choices, you know, options, still got options. And I feel like they were one of them. And instead of them allowing something to end peacefully, somebody, you know, wants something stop, blocked, you know, or some way somebody can't move forward, you know, because their finances is being used, you know, in a situation like going to jail. Like, there's no telling how much somebody's bond is or what, you know, may come of court calls when it comes to trying to dispute, you know, this um, incident or whatever this is that someone got jailed over when it comes to a karmic. Um, but it's like somebody intentionally, you know, stages things and, you know, says something, you know, to the aspect of like trying to keep something from moving forward. Like even if they know somebody going in that uh, direction, that they aren't part of, 
that's what somebody did. Like, somebody knows somebody's not going in a direction that is involving them. So, they're doing things that's keeping this person from being able, able to move on, even financially. It's like somebody wants them to be caught up, you know, in financial situations that they got to bail themselves out of without any help, you know, um, because of the situation. Like, it may be too, the bond may be too expensive to court. Cause of fighting something, you know, in court, depending on what state you're in, or just court, period, can be very pricey. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like somebody is willing to exhaust somebody's finances and their reputation in that way to keep them even from even having ways to replenish that money, like losing their job because of being jailed or whatever, and they're missing days from work, and it could, you know what I'm saying, affect their finances. And I feel like this person is invested in doing that to keep somebody from being able to move forward especially if it's not with them okay but this person is preying on somebody's addictions like some they using spell work to keep this person bound to them you know in a way to where this person is catering if not you know participating and using that as a reason to a way to manipulate this person into being around them for all the wrong reasons. And it's like, if this person's, it's, if it's a sexual addiction, if it's um, the nightlife, if it's, you know, smoking, drinking, um, you know, just spending money on things that's not needed, you know, Investing your time in things that don't have purpose. Um, being around people that are not, you know, good company, especially when it comes to your higher self. You know what I'm saying? And being in good energy and things like that. I feel like somebody preys on that. And it's something that got something to do with spell work when it comes to someone speaking it, talking about it. Um... Yeah, especially when it comes to people coming around them, you know, for something like that to be entertainment, like as a distraction, as like wearing something with the intentions of it getting the, the right reaction that you're looking for. It's like testing somebody's healing, testing, you know, temptation. It's temptation. It's like people using things that tempts a person. Um, and different things that they know this person is into. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know this person like a... I know this person like a big ass. Y'all know this person like somebody that's working with So they're going to wear something, do something, talk about things, you know, put you in an atmosphere of things that normally gets your attention. And it's like somebody using that as a distraction to keep somebody from moving forward. And it's hard for somebody, you know, to... Or they are trying to make it hard for somebody to kick the bad habits, these addictions from spell work. And it's like somebody, you know, may not have known a lot of spell work was involved with the fact that they had some addictions in a low vibrational energy. They may not have paid attention to how much they indulged in it until the things and the people they hurt walked away. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times when it comes to intervention... A lot of things like that, it, sh it shed light on that. Like, you, you did this, you damaged this relationship, you burned this bridge, you, you know, exhausted these resources, you know, you're always in and out of jail over this stuff. And this, when you're going to leave this person alone, like that kind of thing. And it's I got a lot to do with, you know, spell work. It's like, you know, somebody needing company. It's like somebody feeling like, don't go clean yourself up and forget about me. You know what I'm saying? Like, and act like, and act funny toward me because I'm still doing this. It's like that. It's like somebody want to move forward and had this forward movement, this new beginning. And it's like somebody else, like, you think I don't want a new beginning? You think this and think that? You know, you're not going to just leave me high and dry. You're not going to do that kind of thing. And it's like somebody don't want another person to move on because 
that person is doing it without them. And they want to go wherever this person goes. And I feel like it's because somebody's codependent, even emotionally. What I said, this card only for a good time, not a long time. Somebody only, you know, gets involved with somebody, you know, for a good time. They don't intend or never even thought of it being more than that. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody's not looking to do something with somebody or be a certain way with somebody forever. You know what I'm saying? Like if this was a pastime, it's something that they know somebody has been into for years. Like, man, we've been doing this since high school. We've been doing this since such and such. You know, even when you was, you know, remember when you were doing this, you know, dating so-and-so and we used to do this and they used to be mad about that. Like, man, that kind of thing. It's like somebody don't want. Somebody that outgrow, somebody that outgrew some things that is really getting in the way of them advancing. You know what I'm saying? Cutting out, you know, childish ways and immature, you know, thoughts and behaviors. And it's like dismissing a lot of them things. And, and in order to do that, you have to move away from them people and give them time to grow. Except, you know, what new responsibilities are on the table, you know, priority wise, you know what I'm saying? Prioritize the things into your life that replace things in your life, you know, that you're coming into and get rid of the old things, you know, in out with the old in with the new, basically. And it's like somebody only, you know, is only for a good time. You know what I'm saying? Somebody is not in something for a long time. They just wanted to have a good time. Get, get on down and get back to whatever it is they do, you know, from 9 to 5. Or, you know, whatever it is they do over the weekend or, or in their downtime. Somebody that's not looking to make something, you know, long, you know what I'm saying? Long lived. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. I pray for you, Divine Masculine. You could be praying for your Divine Masculine. Whoever that person may be to you, whether you know who it is or not, like you, you know, you do pray for divine masculines, not just yours, collective. Somebody can have a Chinese zodiac sheep or goat. Um, this could be someone born in the month of August. This could be an earth sign also. Yeah, but somebody had a Chinese zodiac goat or sheep, whoever it is reading significant to, whatever part. These years in the month of August can be significant. Like August 31st. Yeah, especially if you're born in the month of August. So it's these years that's significant. If you're born in any one of these years. You could have the uh, Chinese zodiac of a sheep or goat. Next card, she's pissed that I left her. I'm pissed that you're over me. Mm. Not taking no for an answer, it may harm you or send it your way. Came out in reverse.
whoever this is, this karmic that is pissed that, you know, she hates you, okay? But it's a thing of somebody not taking no for an answer when it comes to somebody um, hearing them out or taking them back or accepting their apology or something like that. Whether it's a past person that is pissed that you, you know, are over them and possibly don't even have a chance, you know, in reconciling with you. And it also can be, you know, that on the opposite end, you know, with this person when they come to who they walking away from and they're not a cycle with. This person could not take no for an answer, especially if some, like I said, this person moving on and it's not including them, okay? For them to be jailed over this karma, it's, it's a thing of somebody not taking no for an answer when it comes to them, you know, bringing harm their way or sending it their way. You get what I'm saying? So when it came to somebody having... A incident, you know, when it pertains to this feminine, they could have put them in a situation where they have an altercation with another guy about them, you know, um, a spat or disagreement of some kind or some type of public, you know, altercation, you know, between two masculines about a feminine or something like that. Because it seems like this person, you know, wants to send it that person's way, even if it's somebody this person close to or somebody they familiar with or, you know, know of. And spreading lies and gossip like trying to keep somebody you know in a situation where even if they said something you know behind one of their friends back about something and not you know didn't fully support something or they just had something that's like man that's what that dude gets it's like whoever this karmic feminine is it's like they'll tell that person like what this masculine said just to get some just to get them bickering back and forth to the point it's an altercation you know what I'm saying? Especially if they know um, this feminine knows some things that they done pillow talked about. You know, they may know some things this masculine didn't got into or did towards somebody that they still may go around or talk to or something like that. And it's like that person being missing, like saying something about that to get something going, to get something started to where it's going to, you know, blow up into something. And it end up being something over this feminine, over this karmic feminine. And I feel like somebody, you know, got jailed over something involving them because of some spell work. Like somebody used something that somebody, you know, is into or gets down with. However they spend their time, their money, you know, put their attention into something. It's like something got somebody caught up. And I feel like it got something to do with somebody, you know, wanting to keep them bound to them, you know, because they leaving this person they walked away and this person pissed but this this masculine is mad that you over them like you're not somebody that's gonna entertain you know some bullshit going on with somebody because what's for you is for you you shouldn't have to do all this you know some script scrapping you know for somebody you know that wants to be with you like why am i getting you know harmed you know just for wanting to no, know you shouldn't even want that for me you know what I'm saying? It's like you got too many people out here losing their life over people that think that's showing love. Like the fact that you make your ass and made the news. Like, really? That's that's love. I mean, if you put that much energy into the most high and following your damn path and repenting and, you know, cleansing out your energy and taking accountability and leaving them old, outdated ass, low vibrational ass ways, you know, we have that Ain't get ain't nothing but lessons. You know what I'm saying? They ain't nothing but lessons. Experience that is going to teach you a whole damn lesson and some. Next card was wrong to have took my mother's advice about you. Especially if this mother told somebody, you know, to treat you a certain way. Because they were more in support of this person, you know, that this karmic feminine, whoever this person went toward. Whoever this person went toward, I feel like somebody's mother may have given them some advice, you know, when it came to how they should treat you, see you, handle you. When it came to them being with who they ended up with. Especially if this person has something to do with who they ended up with. And it's, they were more... Even if they, they warn this person 
um, or gave them some advice when it came to going toward this other person. Somebody feel as though now it, it was wrong of them to even have listened to their mother in the first place. And I feel like somebody looking back at, damn, you know, I done went this far with this person, you know, and walked away from somebody who really gave a fuck about me and listening to my mama, who I thought had my best interest at heart, like, didn't even realize or didn't even care to ask me how I really felt or didn't even acknowledge how I really felt about the person, you know, and I just needed, you know, that assurance. And instead of me listening to my own intuition, you know, now I may not be able to undo something that I had help, you know, and I allowed somebody else to help me determine, you know, what was right, what I wanted, what was for me, what made me happy, you know. And I feel like now somebody is looking back at how something was somebody was just wanting to have a good time. And it's like, even if a mother told him, like, look, just go ahead and, you know, have fun with the person. You know what I'm saying? Do what you do with them. But don't, you know, look at them as somebody to settle down with. That kind of thing. Like, child. And this person looking like, shit, I was wrong to even have done that. You know, listening to my mom. North Carolina can be significant. Colorado is also out here one day. Like Ella May is out here. I don't own a copyright to this. Um, you are my lady by Freddie Jackson is also out here. I don't own the copyright to that either. But this person is saying you are my lady and, and, and somebody else saying, look, no matter what you do, it's done. We we good. It's over. Because I told you this day would come. I told you, you know, because it's basically what this, this song is about. It's like somebody told somebody, like, look, I told you. You know, my time was not to be wasted. I told you these games you was playing was going to lead to this one day. I told you that one day was going to come. That day is today. You know what I'm saying? That day I walked away was the day. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like somebody pissed that they, you know, your decision, you standing on it. Because somebody took the advice of their mama and they stood on it. They trusted it. You know what I'm saying? Until it did not work out. Like somebody trusted it until... It started showing and playing out that this was not it. You know what I'm saying? Like, the collective ain't never had to call the police on me. I've never did anything toward the collective for them to have to call the police. But now I'm in situations with somebody where I'm, you know, having to find out, you know, this person got this going on. And now I'm about to, you know, get into it with another nigga about this female or this, I know the female about this dude. And this is not what I signed up for. You know what I'm saying? Like, this was supposed to be just for a good time with this woman. Like, somebody didn't think, you know, long-term with this person until they were left with that person. Next card, false level of romance, friends with benefits, came out in reverse. Somebody wanted more, like somebody, you know, had something else going on with somebody, which was, you know, a, a commitment of some kind. Like somebody was looking to, you know, be in some type of commitment with a, a person. You know what I'm saying? Like in that dating, you know, scene, you know what I'm saying? Like something was not, something was about love and wanting something, you know, serious with somebody, whether the other person wanted it or was not sure about it or not, it definitely was not a friends with benefits because it was not something, an equal exchange of anything going on. It was like something was mutually going on between two people. It's like you felt it, they felt it. It was nothing fake about it. It was a thing of somebody's mother not feeling like supporting what somebody wanted at the time until something that this person was left with was the only option or was one of the options that was trying to compete for your spot. Even if this mother supported this person going in that direction, it's like they listened to the advice of their mother, you know, to walk away from you, to 
breadcrumb you, to leave you out in the cold, to, you know, uh, be selfish with you when it came to themselves, their time, their attention, their affection, things like this. Like, this person could have even been more affectionate around with you when their mother wasn't even around. You know what I'm saying? If their mother was in the same room as you, it's like, they may not have, you know, really gave you that much attention. They may not have been in the room with you at the same time as their mom because it's like somebody knows somebody else don't approve. And you could have even picked up on that. I'm not even getting that you didn't even realize a past person, you know, family or mother. When it comes to their parents, you know, the vibe is different. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it's a two-parent, you know, uh, situation with a, with a past person and you met them... You, by, you may have even determined the distance, the difference between the two. Like, the father may, you know, be more entertaining and involved than the mother. Like, that father may be more conversive and um, engaging in conversation, things like that with you. You know what I'm saying? A laugh here and there. The mom, not so much. You get what I'm saying? Like, you may have even noticed it. You may have addressed it with this person. But it's a thing of you intuitively knowing, like, somebody ain't for real. Like, and it's, mm. but it's like this mother saw this person around you. Like, I feel like family members of this person, your family, some, you know, children, whatever, like, knew something was there. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like this person took the advice of their mom and they feel so busted. You know what I'm saying? Disgusted that they did that because they may not even be able to come back from this because you don't, you over them. You're not even trying to fight for them. And when you did, it didn't, you know, require you. It, it, it came with the fact that you were not going to come back from that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I have to do this and I'm witnessing that I'm having to do this, I'm not coming back because this is not something I even had you doing. I feel like that's what that is. Like you may not have even put this person in that kind of situation to where they had to compete. Even if they had insecurities, it was not something that was your doing. It was something this person was dealing with when it came to them not knowing what direction to go in or playing confused, wanting to be out here, you know, just playing around, having a good time, and not really, you know, go toward any kind of commitment. Like, that was the way to do it. Even if their mom was like, look, just have some fun, this and that. You ain't got to get in no relationship. You ain't got to, you know, be serious with these people. You know what I'm saying? Like, just do this. And, th and this person just out here, reckless and unhealed energy, you know, with unhealed actions, just, you know, going about being a tyrant in people's emotions, being a tyrant in people's lives when it comes to folks that's actually looking for something in alignment with them to grow and to, you know, keep moving forward and doing well and whatever you got going on in your life at the time. And I feel like somebody had more between two people than other folks wanted to actually support. Even if this person was in their feelings about whether something was real or if this was something they wanted to see it through it's like somebody had somebody outside of them that they respected that was a, 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 a parent you know what i'm saying next card they were told you were protected they're pissed Like somebody could want to, you know, send harm your way, but you protect it. Even in the 5D, somebody cannot send shit, you know, towards you to affect you in any way because you too damn protected. They may not like how things turned out. Somebody may not, you know, accept the fact that you, you know, are saying no and you standing on that. Ain't shit they can do about it. The fact that that card even came out, you know, for somebody to feel like because... They not taking no for an answer and may send harm your way or try to harm you. You too protected. Like they would they'd they, they have been told that. They'd have been told that, they'd have been showed that. Like they could have got a download that could be, you know, pulling cards. They could be, you know, just speaking on it and shit like that and then try, you know, some things or done wished, you know, some ill, you know, when it comes to you, it ain't happening. 
like whatever somebody want it things to be like with you because you taking no and running with it and standing on it ain't nothing they can do about it they whoever done tried to come up against you to change your mind or to make things you know uh slow down for you when it comes to moving forward without them even them moving forward without somebody from their past or they walking away from either way somebody can't stop you from forward movement i don't give a damn if they can't accept no or not like somebody gonna have to accept they need to work on rejection period because that in itself is you know a uh a thing to heal from you know and saying that you still are not validated by what somebody else you know does not see or accept or you know uh give you accountability for like you need to know within yourself like your own work you shouldn't look forward in somebody else you know what i'm saying or somebody else's approval focus you're being asked to be to stay focused or you're just focused you're focusing or you may need to focus more. You know, don't let things from the past, nostalgia, thoughts, and stuff like that, you know, linger in your mind. Replace it with something that you want to do moving forward. Replace it with something that you, that thought was something that you want to do moving forward, you know, in a new way of thinking. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't elaborate on past experiences with people. It's not easy. It's easily said and done. But when you start to do something, periodically whenever it happens it'll come natural to you you know what i'm saying like no i'm not gonna be thinking about shit like that like you know wherever it is you want to go wherever it, if it's you know some part of colorado you wanted to go to think about what you're going to do there you know what do you you know when you want to when, when do you see yourself going there whatever it is you know what i'm saying replace those nostalgic thoughts you know of people from the past that won't shoot to elaborate on those past memories to kind of manifest them back. No, we ain't got time for that. So stay focused. Next card, I thought you could be replaced. Came out in reverse. Love bomb you. Came out in reverse. See what I'm saying? Like, somebody know that they, the, the fight to come back to you is harder than falling in love with you or loving you was, okay? That's just period, you know? Because I feel like between two people, there was some uh, connection there, like a, a, a pull, a bond there that over time, it you know, was something that somebody really thought and felt the same way you did, even though they may have had a toxic karmic ass way of showing, you know, how they were going to invest in it and not even giving it a chance, but, you know, still thinking that whatever they mama telling them is the best, you know, advice going. And, you know, why would that person tell me something wrong? They ain't never told me something. It worked for my mama when it came to her, you know, moving around and then her life dating. And, and this child, I'm telling you, somebody is mimicking a generational curse that they need to break like somebody's a somebody is going to be or needs to be or is a generational curse breaker like somebody gonna have to break the pattern of something going on in their family you know dynamic that is something that is it's like supported by parents or a family member or something like that that keeps getting passed down to another to one sibling to the next when it comes to their view about, you know, doing this this way or accepting, you know, this as an option to do. Because I feel like this advice somebody got from their mama, their mama done took their own damn advice. And if it got this mama where they are or, you know, got somebody back in their life or they ran somebody off in some other man's life and they ended up with this person, it's like, they're giving the same advice to their child and saying, you know, it worked for me. You see me and so-and-so together. You see where she at now, you know, this other person, this other woman. You see what's going on. She don't like, it's like that. It's like that. It's like something like that, if not exactly like that. Like somebody is mimicking 
the action a parent took in their situation when it came to a father or a man they ended up with or a woman this man ended up with and child now they're telling their child you know to go that route it's because they got what they wanted you know what i'm saying they got the big house they got the nice car they got the and it's like somebody saying you want this don't you you know what i'm saying this person got this this person you know want that you know what i'm saying they got a little something they got more than this person you know what I'm saying? You imagine what I'd be at if I'd have stayed with so-and-so, but yeah, that person there loved you, though. That person there may have been more mentally stable, you know, and emotionally available to you where you wouldn't have had to do that for them. But you went out of your way to do this to get this man, you know, my dad back or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Now this person know they knew going forward when they mama told them this you could not be replaced like somebody knew like I'm not gonna find another person like this I'm not you know and I you know thought I was gonna go over here and just you know have some good have a good time with this person you know the collective walked away I have a good time with this person this and that and then, you know that's gonna be it and I'm gonna get back to the collective and somebody thought what they mama told them was the best advice and it was not. It was not, and that playing games, playing like they ain't doing shit or doing something behind the scenes and thinking that they were just going to keep you holding on, waiting. Like, that person, if they love you, they'll be there. They, somebody really thought that that was going to go that way. I'm telling you, like, somebody really thought that you were going to be there, you know, because you cared so much. You unconditionally love this person. Somebody took what they told their mama you felt and what they know they felt for you and you know, I love this person. You know, I can see myself. And it's like, okay, well, if you see that and that person see that, then it'll be that. Is it? Child, mm -mm. <laughs> They can't even come in and love bomb your ass, child. And they pissed, you know, that you over them. It ain't that you moved on and all that right there. It's the fact that you over them. And it's not like another, you know, option, you know, opportunity for them to come in and you know, change your mind because I feel like this person knew when you was fixed and set on how you felt about them, you meant that shit. You meant that shit. But it's like now this person knows you that same person that's saying no. No. Uh uh. I told you this day would come. I told you that you know, if you told this person, look, I'm gonna walk away, that's gonna be it. I done left people alone before. They, you know, they, they still resent the fact that I did that. I had to be an example. I had to prove this. You know, a lot of people had to stand on my word for years. I promise you I could do this with you. I love you. I care whatever you said. This person did not believe that they were part of that exception. They felt like you would make an exception to that rule with them. No. <laughs> no. Even if they thought, some, even if somebody they went toward thought that you know this person really was making a lot of time to come back and backdoor you for them and leave you you know on red to get involved with them somebody really thought that they were going to make something out of that and somebody like no i don't give a damn no ma'am no ma'am <laughs> no ma'am i'm going back i got somebody i got somewhere i gotta be and it's like the collector don't want me no i did no like you walking away was not part of that advice they mama gave them I'm telling you child next car getting frustrated with their own lives somebody know even if they try to come back and make things right or want to sit down and get this chit chat with you it's like somebody frustrated with they what they got to even bring up the moments that they lied and you asked or you talked about or you shared things, you know, talked about stuff directly, indirectly, you know, shared content that kind of, you know, talked about what you were feeling. Even if you felt like your words may be too sharp or something like that, you may have tried videos, you may have tried other people's content, you know, uh, shared posts that people, you know, talking about certain things to look out for. This is what this is. This is people that do this. This is how you handle that. Don't let this and that be something, you know, that breaks you. Do this. And you may have shared that with that person that kind of let that person know, like, look, this is what I'm feeling. This is what I'm thinking. This is, you know, 
how things like this go. This is how people like this do, you know, and showing somebody, you know, the error in their way. It's like this right here, what you're doing, this is what this is. Even though you may tell me you're not doing this, you may keep saying I'm insecure, like things like that. It's like somebody projecting insecurities onto you, but they having a whole lot of them. And they listening to their mama's advice on their own insecurities. They not even trying to work through their insecurities. It's just making what they dealing with as far as insecurities worse. It's mother not working on or telling them to face whatever insecurities those are. They making it worse for this for, they, for their own child. Has to be the center of attention. Came out in reverse. This person, you know, knows you're not somebody that's like that. They may have been somebody that, you know, needed to be the center of attention. Or somebody they went toward just got to be the center of attention. And because this person did not make, you know, them a priority, you know, like they were trying to come back around and do or they, who they knew this person would do it for. It's like somebody felt like, all I'm doing and all I'm giving you and, you know, as ratchet as I can be, you know, as, you know, lustful and as uh, temptational as I can be, you know, uh, of a distraction for you. You mean to tell me you're not going to take that and look at that as somebody that, you know, don't want to keep doing this. I want something more like somebody like mm -mm. fighting weapons, threats. See what I'm saying? Hey, mama couldn't have prepared them for this. I'm telling you. This person going through a dark night of the soul. I'm telling you, this person went, then been jailed over an altercation with this person. Something that this person don't want this person to walk away from and go toward. And I feel like somebody is looking at the fact that they could have avoided all this had they, you know, sat their ass down somewhere and stopped trying to look for somebody to replace you when they know this person didn't. They, they knew this person was nothing like you. They knew this. They knew this. And this person still entertained this person. They still gave this person the, the benefit of the doubt. They still, you know, tried to think that they would just, you know, have some fun with this person. I'm just going to, you know, it's just going to be sex. You know what I'm saying? It's just going to be to see what I can get out this person, you know, to the collective come back. Or I just, you know, uh-uh. Needs to take accountability. Angels and ancestors protecting you. When it comes to your past person, when it can when it comes to um this the this spell work, when it comes to them struggling with kicking these addictions and things like that due to this spell work, I feel like this spell work is only hard to kick is because somebody ancestors is not protecting them. I feel like somebody ancestors is upset with them because they went this route instead of using their own intuition and discernment and they let a lot of outside influences, you know, dictate what direction they went in and why and how and for how long. And I feel like this person, you know, low key knew they were going in the right direction. In the wrong direction, I mean excuse me. They knew they were going in the, in the wrong direction, and I feel like they played confused. Like, they just, 
being naive, you know what I'm saying, trying to act like they would have time to go back and make up for this. They could love bomb you and they'll get back in and somebody realizing when it's all said and done, you know, and these events started to play out that there is no coming back from this. They could even still be, you know, in jail behind this. Because this, this person hates you that much. You know what I'm saying? Somebody knows that, or even, you know, people in this person's family could have told them how they felt. This person could eventually have told this person how they felt about you and why they're not going to get them a commitment. And it just made things worse. This person actually hates you now. But I feel like somebody ancestors allowed something to happen because I feel like they gave this person several warnings. Especially this karmic, you know, uh, lover they got involved with. I feel like somebody, ancestors is not protecting them. Or this person. You know what I'm saying? Whoever did this spell work, you know, when it comes to this person's addictions and things like that, they ain't got no protection, you know, from angels, ancestors, nothing. Like somebody left naked, you know, in the spirit realm from what they sent out. And I feel like what's going on you know, ride somebody at this point is because their ancestors is disappointed with the fact that they allow, you know, low vibrational addictions and things like that to overshadow something that they felt in their heart. Like, I feel like somebody heart chakra was blocked, you know, because of some low vibrational people, environment thoughts you know what i'm saying and it's like the ancestors was constantly giving them signs and synchronicities like hey you know stop you know that's enough you know what i'm saying you, you're doing you're not gonna be able to this is not going i feel like this person got nudges at times you know that they second guess some things and they still went through with something and it was that was the angel of the ancestors like hey hold on now think about it you know, you always saying how this person, this person did just told you this, like you can think that they plan, you know, and it's like your ancestors and their ancestors like, oh, hell no, uh-uh. If they go that route, there ain't no coming back. Like we, that person going to be blocked from, you know, my granddaughter, my daughter, you know, whatever. My mom, they going to be blocked indefinitely. You know what I'm saying? Like they going to need to, they need to learn their fucking lesson. Their ancestors like, shit, I agree. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody, you know, ancestors is not supporting something that your ancestors is standing on when it comes to, you know, what your calling is and what is fated for you in the ethos. Like somebody's not letting, you know, a karmic situation and somebody feeling like they can manipulate, you know, your purpose in this in this lifetime, you know, in past life either. For something they want to play around with and you know think that this is how this goes it's like you jeopardizing your your high priestess you jeopardizing the safety and the protection that your empress provides like no next card your new divine masculine ain't nobody to play with you done call judgment on this person and some more shit child Love and Happiness by Al Green. And that's what's coming in. That's what's coming in. Somebody, you manifesting this. Child. Especially if this is a past person coming back around that's going through this dark night of the soul. Child. A cord cutting needed from a parental figure. Whether this is you collective or a past person of yours. Um, but I'm getting this a past person and they mother who gave them this fucked up badass, you know, ratchet ass advice. They're going to have to do a cord cutting when they come to this parental figure. Because I feel like this person, whoever this masculine or this feminine is, they parental figure is going to be pulling in and pulling and pulling and pulling at their energy when it comes to their views, when it comes to, you know, their thoughts. And if they don't want they mother's low vibrational ass thoughts to manifest in their energy and they trying to raise their vibration and get out of this low vibrational spell work that is messing with their addictions and things like that and making it hard for them to walk away from things that no longer serve their higher self they that parental figure in their life that's 
giving them bad advice and telling them, you know, what route to take because she took it. Child, it's going to constantly be something this person has as a setback. No, no doubt, honor thy mother and father. But they have to give you something to honor. You know what I'm saying? And when none, when all ends fails, you got your heavenly father. You got asthma. You got, you know what I'm saying? The most high God to call on, to call out to. And you put that person in God's hands and you go on. You know what I'm saying? Because he is the creator of all things. He does know about your parent. He does know things about your parent. Your parent don't tell you. He does know things that your parent need to heal from that they, you know, Damn, they want to curse your life with. And it's a generational curse that need to be broken. And you can put that person in God's hand and move on. That's how much love you can have for a person to let them go and let God. You won't be the first to do that, okay? Really can be significant. Close out this reading. Let's do it. Next card, reality over here, kicking my ass about you. See what I'm saying? I'm telling you, this person ancestors is Lord. They ain't playing. Like, we told your ass. Sometimes I wonder if I ever cross your mind. This person know you ain't studying them. Came right in reverse. They know you ain't studying them. Next card, none of this shit is working because you over the ass. This spell work somebody doing to a past person ain't working. They over that person. <laughs> they over that person. This person, reality about what they didn't experience and what it didn't cost them and what they got to come back from in this dark night of the soul is kicking their ass. And somebody looking like, uh uh, that shit you doing, it ain't working. I'm over you. <laughs> I'm over your ass. And that love bombing, a past person want to cut you over this person. They just, uh-uh. 26 can be significant. Somebody could be in their eighth house or have life past eight. Voodoo death spells backfired. What I said, I'm telling you. This person used this against this person when it came to their addictions. When it came to them, them things, low vibrational, that kept somebody entertained, kept somebody distracted long enough to miss their opportunity. And it's like now somebody got to fight, you know, to get it back. And, and it's an emperor coming in. Especially if this person going toward their divinity. Like somebody... Getting it the hard way. I'm telling you, like somebody, dark night of the soul is is child showing them all the red flags, all the bells and whistles, the stop signs they ran, the red lights they ran, everything. Should have made you my forever, divine feminine, divine masculine. Listen to their mama, child. Keep saying they use their being. They know they're being used to make you jealous. Came out in reverse. Somebody didn't even know they were being used to make you jealous. They didn't. And when somebody found out that somebody was not going to stick around for them, they was just, you know, in it for, you know, uh, you know, just for the fun of it, for the kicks. That's it. They were just in it for that. And somebody found out, child, they done spazzed out, flipped the fuck out. And then did and, and try to put this person, you know, in harm's way when it come to Threats and weapons and, you know, chaos and, and baby, somebody did that. At the seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck in the, in the upright Taurus energy. Yeah, this person could be a Taurus. But it's like this person may have to wait a long time when it comes to 
you know, something that they working toward to actually come into play. You know what I'm saying? For them to see the fruits of their labor. You know what I'm saying? And all this could be you, you know, that's waited a long time for something to come in. And you've been doing the work. You've been doing the healing. You've been, you know, going within. You've been doing your shadow work. You've been releasing, you know, fear and doubt, you know, of new beginnings. You know, starting over and what that can bring for you. And, you know, allowing yourself to feel again, be vulnerable again, you know, in a safe place now without having to look back at somebody, you know, wanting to come back around, you know, like they did in the past and allowing yourself to, forgiving yourself for allowing this person those many, that many opportunities that they just were not pouring enough of themselves into, enough of themselves, you know, into you. And what you wanted with them. And I feel like now whatever you have worked hard for. You could be this Taurus. Um, but I feel like whatever it is that you've been hard at work at. When it comes to working on you. you It's the seeds you've planted. They've come into harvest. You know what I'm saying? Should have made you my forever. Who is this person? Should have made you my forever. Show me who this person is. Should have made you my forever. Queen of um, Swords at the bottom of the deck. Libra Energy. Somebody could be mourning a loss. Because you do have um, backfired death spells that somebody did. Somebody could be mourning, could literally be mourning a loss when it comes to... Um, what they were banking on something when it came to their expectations, you know, what they expected this death, these death spells to do for them. It's like somebody is going through that themselves now. Yeah. Somebody literally could be, uh, yeah. Somebody could be really literally dealing with a loss for somebody here. Should have made you my forever. The two of pentacles came out in reverse. Capricorn energy. Ten of cups came out. Upright Pisces energy. And the three of swords came out. Libra energy. Yeah. When it comes to this cord cutting, you know, of this parental figure, it's like somebody realizing, you know, whoever this Pisces is, this ten of pen, this ten of cups, excuse me. Um Especially with this two of pentacles being in reverse, coming out first, and then this ten of cups. It's like somebody was juggling something at one time, you know, when it came to resources, you know, options, change. But it's like, you know, somebody hanging in there, you know, until... They get this opportunity, you know, when things pick up for them, you know, when it comes to this dark night of the soul. 
um, it's somebody. It's like somebody. It's symbolizing somebody that's hopeful. You know, when it comes to them knowing how to balance things out and knowing, you know, what direction to go in, regardless of what other people got to say. Um, especially when it comes to where they feel like they can build it. And I feel like this person, whoever this Pisces is, this could be a Pisces, like with Capricorn placements, don't have to be. But this person, you know, sees you as wish fulfillment. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like this person knows they could have built and had something with you and they still see that you know in the future for you and them but i feel like this person knows it's gonna come with um some heartbreak it's gonna come with some sadness because i feel like you know them having to go against something you know other people are not supporting you know and they care about that person too it's like um i care a lot about you know my family and my parents and things like that and i don't want to you know, look at them like they're not somebody I, I disrespect. I don't want to look at look at them as somebody untrustworthy or things like that. I don't want them, you know, to look at me in that way as a child, as they, you know, son or their daughter or something like that. But I feel like this person knows it's going to, um, it's something this person knows that I got to put something down in order to achieve something I really want. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's going, it means that somebody's going to get hurt in the process. But I feel like what this person is experiencing, you know, when they should have made you they forever, I feel like somebody is not going to be satisfied knowing that they made you feel as though you weren't worth the effort. Like you weren't worth the fight. Like you weren't worth the decision, you know, the loss. You know what I'm saying? It may be a loss that this person is looking at, but I feel like it's it's something that's needed. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody needs to make this decision. Like and they know now, like when it comes to the decisions they made in listening to these people, the only other thing they got left is their own intuition and what's being shown to them, you know, in using a discernment and relying on what they know they gut was telling them. And somebody learning now listen to your gut instinct you got those nudges you knew how you felt you knew what you wanted you know where something could have went if you had gave it a chance but you didn't you listened to somebody you thought really gave a damn and as a parent they should but it was something that you knew deep down when you went in that direction that this was maybe something you would not be able to come back from and this would hurt the person that you know really genuinely cares Clarify this two of pentacles in reverse, ten of cups, three of swords. Clarify this two of pentacles in reverse. Ten of Wands, Sagittarius Energy. We got the Judgment at the bottom of the deck. Libra, heavy Libra out here. Yeah, this person... When they when the car said that this person reality is kicking their ass, this dark night of the soul, these things that they are having to live the reality of, like live through it, may even, you know, make this person feel, you know, like they don't want to be here anymore. You know what I'm saying? Um this judgment is in the upright.
this person going through a dark night of the soul, but I feel like, you know, this person could be feeling weighed down behind, you know, what's going on when it comes to what they're being shown, the decisions they got to make, you know, and feeling like, you know, they're stuck between a rock and a hard place. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like what is making this person feel that pressure, that intense pressure, It's like somebody releasing the control of how the outcome of something goes. And I feel like this person can't do anything about you saying no. They can't do anything about them telling their parent, like, no, I'm not, you know, that's not the best choice for me. I don't feel like that's going to work for me. You know what I'm saying? And them being a yes person, you know, got them nowhere. It, it broke their heart and yours too. Okay, and it's allowing this person another opportunity to make something right this way. Like, this is the only way. Okay. But, I, you know, this person is under judgment. You know what I'm saying? Judgment have been called on this person. Because this is like, you know, in the upright, like a call for... Judgment, you know, when it comes with transformation. When it comes to that, this person is, you know, under judgment. And it's just a thing of, you know, making them adjustments to reflect, you know, making them decisions that reflect which you want moving forward. Like you got to, you know, whatever you're manifesting, you're going to have to be in the right mindset, you know, saying the right things to yourself as affirmations, putting the right, you know, actions in place and standing on it. You know, clarify this ten of wands. Clarify the ten of wands. Two of Wands, Aries, Energy, and the Reverse. You got the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck of Aquarius, Energy. See, somebody trying to come up against you, you're too protected. You could be this Aquarius, this uh, Seven of Swords. Because I feel like whoever this is, this Aquarius, because this Seven of Swords is in reverse. It's like whoever this is, it's um, having to respond to change, you know, quickly when it comes to how somebody likes to move, you know, behind the scenes. And I feel like when it comes to maintaining caution, you know, when it comes to how you're dealing with somebody's mental abuse and a physical abuse and how they want to come towards you with threats and weapons and you know um to try to get something to go in their direction i feel like somebody gonna have to stand their ground and i feel like they you know need to be aware or this is something you were made aware of or that your ancestors is you know you know taking care of you know what I'm saying? When it comes to somebody wanting to send harm your way because of something ending the way it is, you know, for them. And I feel like somebody not able to take it out on other people, somebody just having to face whatever something is, you know, and know that this is their karma. They, somebody's, you know, this is judgment. But I feel like all change isn't bad, but it's necessary.
Yeah, this person, you know, had something up their sleeve the whole time that they were going to, you know, try to come toward this person, you know, or playing in this, you know, the, per the fact that this person even wanted to just play with somebody for a, a past time and come back around to you. It's like somebody was already plotting on a way to, uh, it's like a surprise attack on somebody whether they wanted to do it to you and this person and I feel like that was the case but I feel like somebody shit backfired you know when it came to how they wanted something to affect you and now it's going on between a connection that wasn't even supposed to be but that's the karma and the consequences of somebody's actions you know for listening to the damn mama all right and not listening to their own discerning and intuition now somebody is having to do a cord cutting what a parental figure, you know, to kick off whatever it is they want to move forward in doing. But I, I guarantee you by the time this person get done with what they have to do, they ain't going to play about you. Like somebody ain't going to play about, you know, the fact that you are who you say you are and you're worthy of every, you know, every amount of fight somebody putting in to go through a transformation that's not only for you but for them and, you know, to move forward. I feel like this person... Feeling way down, you know, and reality kicking their ass and the stuff that they caused you, you know, them, they ancestors, your ancestors, the most high, like somebody is going through it. They're going through it and it hurt like hell. And I feel like this person, you know, knows how you feel if not some. Like somebody getting, you know, an extra dose of their own damn medicine. And a lot of it got to do with things that is generationally going on in their bloodline that they going to have to, you know, put an end into. And it may even cause them to have to, you know, cut ties with a parent, you know, when it comes to that person looking at them as the reason, you know, they feel like, you know, I trusted you, you know, at a time where I thought you really, you know, cared enough to make the best decision for me, you know, or with that, you know what I'm saying? And this mother had an opportunity to get something right with their own child. It's like, don't send them down that road that you went down just because you feel like it's working for you now. And you send that child down this... Yeah, child. I'm going to end it here because... Mm -mm. You guys, make sure you do something nice for someone, even if you don't know them. And as always, hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. And those that genuinely love me, know that I love you too. Bye.